reading you a blog on this episode. Um, I wrote, I wrote it. I wrote, I wrote this on my blog. It's an article, and it's called "Self Awareness for My Strengths and Weaknesses." Got some good feedback on this, so I'm just gonna read it right from the website. I'm not gonna try to freestyle it at all. But um, here we go. Self awareness for my strengths and weaknesses. Someone from my text community asked me if I could talk about expanded consciousness for my writing sessions this week. To me, that's another way of saying self awareness. So I'll speak on it from this angle. Self awareness is knowing what our strengths are, being ourselves, being super connected to where we're good at, and also even knowing what our shortcomings are. It's a never ending mental building game. We are all good at something, and we're all bad at something. Tapping into the things we are good at is where I believe and I personally found the most happiness and clarity in. I did that my entire sport karate career from age 8 to 20. My strengths, hand speed, timing, defense, tempo, quickness, movement. My weaknesses, kicking, flexibility, sometimes too passive, sometimes too stationary. If I'm self-aware to what I'm really good at or have great skills in, I can bet on myself in that area in a, in a majorly confident way. On the other side of that, if I'm bad at something, it just means I'm human. No surprise there. It's a part of life. I haven't met a single person yet, and there's not even there's not even a person that exists that is good at every single thing. Self awareness being able, is being able to accept our weaknesses while focusing all of our attention on our strengths. To that point, that almost makes doing things a lot more simple in all areas of life. Um, I would say the basic, the basic fundamentals, principles have to be there no matter what. Kindness, respect, gratitude, hard work, honesty, patience, love, etc. But all in all, I would say if I'm self-aware and how I do my best and what makes me my best, confidence and direction usually flows. I can be myself and people can sense that. I think that's what has allowed me to be better and better at training, communicating, my relationships, my ideas and actions. I think that's why I can, I can allow people to feel safe around me. It's why I'm extremely good at meeting and talking to people. The safe part is interesting because when people feel safe, I can also get honest feedback. I can get honest feedback on what people sense or see what I'm good at or bad at. And from there, it's up to me to apply what feedback actually works for me and doesn't work for me. Also for them, being safe around me also means they can be themselves around me too. I'm always trying to be, I'm always trying to be self-aware to who I am and don't try to be someone I'm not. I can only be me. I'm far from perfect, even in that sense. But I love that as I grow up, I'm a lot more intent in who I am and what I love as I pursue fitness, sports cards, brand, and build my podcast. Thanks for listening.